John Kerry gives us the scoop that Sleepy Joe's out of the loop. Yes, Kerry does damage control in France while Biden wanders around without pants. <laughs> Walking driftwood sculpture, John Kerry, <laughs> says President Biden wasn't aware that the trilateral agreement between the U.S., the U.K., and Australia would anger France. Maybe because it wasn't French. <laughs> the deal sunk a $40 million submarine contract between France and the Aussies, and France temporarily recalled its ambassadors to the U.S. and Australia. In response, an angry Joe Biden immediately recalled our ambassador to Atlantis. <laughs> Just kidding. Joe can't recall anything. But anyway, apparently old Joe had no clue the deal would piss off the French. Est-ce que vous avez compris la, la colère des Français? President Biden asked me about it, and I told him and expressed... Uh, you told Joe Biden that it was not the right... He thing. asked me. He said, what's the situation? And I explained exactly... Uh, he, was, he had not been aware of that. He literally had not been aware of what had transpired, and I don't want to go into the details of it. Why bother at this point? <laughs> Before hopping in his private jet that runs on panda blood, <laughs> Kerry went on to say that the U.S. and France have bigger world issues to work on together, such as cyber warfare and climate change. And if they're worried about lost income, Kerry recommends marrying a rich widow <laughs> so you can continue to fly on private jets. Because that's what he did. But then they concluded the interview with this fascinating nugget. Sure, international diplomacy is important, and you know I think climate change is the crucial issue of our lifetime. But not as crucial as Greg Gutfeld becoming the king of late night. What he's been able to accomplish in such a short time is as incredible and as beautiful as the Eiffel Tower, don't you think? They think. Who knew Kerry was a secret fan of the show? Thanks, John. But as for Biden being unaware of the deal, that seems odd at the very least. Right, Joe? Look, look, look. I am on top of things, all right? I, I know what's going on. It's just that this, this submarine deal was confusing. First of all, where I come from, we call them hoagies, right? <laughs> Second of all, eh, AUKUS? I mean, it's, you got AU, US, UK, EU. There's too many letters, right? I gave it to Kerry. He's good at the alphabet. I mean, <laughs> he looks like a Muppet. <laughs> Cat, it, it raises a question. What else does Joe not know, and when did he not know it? Yeah, well, politicians say that all the time. Well, I didn't know, or you didn't know. In this case, I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> But I also don't know if that inspires confidence, if we're trying to be, you know, getting along better with France, mm -hmm. have confidence in us, that he has no idea what's going on. Why would you bother to talk to someone who doesn't know what's going on? Mm -hmm. I've tried. It doesn't work very well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, uh, Professor, uh, do you think the Democrats actually like it this way? The less Joe knows, the better. It's hard to know, but, you know, John Kerry, the operative words were, I explained, literally, unaware. He's always this pontificator. Right. Remember when he was during the election and he said, if you don't educate, you're not educated and go to college, we're going to send you to Iraq, as right. if that was the worst of all fates. Mm -hmm. And re remember during the Trump administration, he was always freelancing on the Iran deal, meeting Iranians. So it's always that he's the hero and the intellectual master of everybody. So, yeah, it was probably true that Biden didn't know what was going on, but Kerry so exaggerates his own role. Remember he went over to China about uh, cl climate change and they put him in a room and said later. <laughs> and uh, so he's always the legend of his, in his own mind. To be fair, China thought he was actually a cabinet. <laughs> no, but another great uh, example is him going to France after the terrorist attack, bringing James Taylor. I remember. Because that, that was his way of being a hero, right? Yes. They're going to love me because I'm going to bring James Taylor, which no one has ever said before, David. <laughs> David, um, are you aware of what's going on in your razor company? <laughs> are you as ignorant I, as Joe Biden? I don't know else? where I am right now. I mean, I... <laughs> Joe Biden obviously is confused. Mm -hmm. That's not news. Yeah. We've known that. Mm -hmm. What I find interesting is France, the home of the Paris Climate Accord, is like, we need to sell our diesel subs. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> That's a good. Yeah. But I, I prefer the, I prefer the French submarines, you know, because they got the ashtrays in there. <laughs> <laughs> 
no torpedoes, they just Champagne. fire baguettes. You know, they just... <laughs> that's, what, that's what they do, it's true. Yes, and everything is done in the uh, form of mime. Mime, si the, yeah, it's silent, that sub. It's a very mime. silent sub. They, they paint hands on the thing, <laughs> and it goes through the water. <laughs> we should probably stop this. Um, oh, oh, we shouldn't have started. <laughs> yes. <it's> a... <laughs> Mercedes, um, do you th do you think uh, Kerry is just stupid or was was trying to Look, trying to throw the president under the yacht? Kerry wants to be in the news. He wants to be relevant again. Mm -hmm. So my theory is that he must have said, "Let me just throw the president under the bus mm -hmm. so that I can appear like I am the smartest one right. in the room." But when he did mention that you were king, I'll just say it in Spanish. Gutfeld es el rey de la televisión. There you go. Wow. What do you think? <laughs> Pretty good, huh? We have no idea if that's what she said. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.